New video tonight capturing a Manatee County man assaulting his wife at a gas station while his son tries to hold him back. Deputies later shot and killed that man last night. ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson live for us in Manatee County. Jake, what started all this? Well, Jamison deputies say Corey Mobley was meeting his wife down the road at a gas station uh, to exchange the children there when he suddenly started attacking her. He then fled the scene and made his way here to 6th Street West, and you can see there's a large deputy presence here. They're actually doing a reenactment right now is what I'm hearing from deputies. He ran through some of the yards right here from what I've been told from the deputies, and moments later, he was dead. The gas station video shows an angered Corey Mobley. There's nothing to indicate that his life was that bad that he would want to do that. And deputies say when they caught up to him a few minutes later, call the police. He was still mad, even threatening them, saying, well, I got a gun for you. The deputy at that time draws his weapon. He asks to see the suspect's hands. The suspect continues to put his hands in his waistband. As if, as if he has a gun. Sheriff Rick Wells says Mobley walks closer to his deputy. The deputy at that time, in fear for his safety, fires two shots. Well, he said he had got back up and walked towards the cops, and they had shot him two more times. Malachi Alford lives nearby. He heard the threat and took this cell phone video. Oh, he had said that he had got a gun for the, the cops. Alford says he heard when the deputy fired two more shots at Mobley. The third and fourth shots were enough to keep Mobley down for good. Because that's like, that ain't something you see every day. That had me a shot for a second. Mobley's four children are getting counseling, and so is the veteran deputy who shot their father. Oh, Dad, let go. Well, says Mobley could have prevented all of this. The deputy gave him every opportunity to remove his hands from his waistband and to surrender. And back here live, we know that multiple witnesses say they heard Mobley making threats towards the deputies here, but no gun was ever found on Mobley or here at the scene. We're live here in Manatee County. Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.